creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you what I'm going to call a must-see country chic Dollar Tree DIY, oh my word that was a mouthful, using the wood drawers by Crafter Square. Those wood drawers are amazing. There are so many things that can be done with them. I love working with those. I think just about as much as I love working with the Jenga blocks. Today's DIY is a useful DIY. It is one that you can get a lot of use out of and it will serve as storage. Now I know we've probably seen a lot of storage DIYs done using these, but today's I think is a bit different than any other that you've seen yet. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Country chic this time, let's get to it. My blog is up and it is running. I will be posting a new blog every Monday and this is where I take you along with me on this next chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on. I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around till the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you want to DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Did I tell you you're going to need eight of these wood drawers? Mm-hmm, you are. When picking these out, try your best to get them as evenly in size as possible. We all know that these are not all the same size, so it can make it hard to put them together because that's what we're going to do using some of this wood glue by Super Glue. You can find this in the tools section at Dollar Tree, not the craft section. I'm going to start off by gluing two sets of two together side by side, then I'm going to glue them together by stacking them. Now that's only using four of the drawers. We're going to repeat this process so we have two sets of four drawers that are stacked. If you thought we were done gluing, or not, I'm going to glue these two sets of four drawers together back to back so this is making this drawer set double sided. We're going to have four drawers on each side. Pretty cool so far, huh? Wait for it because I am not done. You are going to love this. I love this. I picked up two of these rectangle plaques. These are by Art Minds. You can get these at Michael's. I want to say that these were a dollar a piece. They can be a bit rough on the edges because it is a raw wood and it's a lower grade wood. So before you get to crafting with them, you might want to take just a piece of sandpaper and smooth out those edges, get those splinters taken away because it's going to make for a better finished product when you paint it and you don't have all those splinters everywhere. It's going to give it a nice smooth surface. And on top of these wood plaques is going to go more of the, yeah, the wood glue because we're going to place the set of eight drawers on top of this first plaque. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now on the top, I'm going to place some more glue, but with this plaque, I'm going to place it right side down. So the bottom of the plaque is up because I want the two decorative edge sides of the plaque. Do the decorative edge sides, the beveled edges, that's what I really meant. I want them to be facing each other. It's going to give it a more finished look. And so just by placing the plaque upside down like so, you can see, yeah, Kayla always gives me the hardest time because I don't always remove the stickers. I am so bad about that, but I do remove it, I promise you. Now we all know that when we put these drawers together, we are left with these gaps. Why do we have these gaps? Because these drawers are not even. Why they're not even is beyond me, but there is an easy fix to this. Just by taking some a Dollar Tree spackling, yes, this stuff is amazing and it dries quick. We're gonna fill in the holes with spackling and then we're gonna have a nice, clean, smooth, finished looking drawer set. Does the spackling take a minute to dry? It does. 
I'm doing this at night before I go to bed so that way in the morning when I wake up, it's gonna be good and dry, ready to sand and ready to paint. We're good and dry. It's a bit rough, it's not as smooth as I would like it to be, so I am going to go back over this with a light grade sandpaper and smooth it out. On the sides where the drawers weren't even, I did put a bit of spackling as well, but that's not gonna show because the sides are gonna be covered up, so I wasn't real worried about it. If I was only painting these drawers, I probably would have picked out a couple more drawers that fit better, but it's not gonna show in this instance. So again, like I said, just taking a light grade sandpaper, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out that spackling so when we paint it, we've got a nice, smooth, perfect looking finished drawer set. Yeah. And look at there, spackling is like magic. It filled in all the gaps. It's nice and smooth and perfect and it is ready to be painted and you're gonna be none the wiser that these drawers didn't fit together nicely. The paint that I'm using, yeah, it's Krylon's Color Master Cover Max. This is a paint and primer in one. I figured this was the way to go because painting this piece with the brush is going to not only one take forever, but it is going to take a ton of chalk paint because it's probably gonna need a couple of coats. I headed on over to Hobby Lobby because they've got the best open stock paper ever. And I picked up a couple sheets of this floral paper because I was feeling inspired by the Pioneer Woman. And so I'm gonna cut out just some of these flowers, rough cutting them. I'm not cutting right along the edge of the flower. I'm leaving a bit of a border, a white border around it. And we're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for the flower itself to kind of act as a decal or a die cut. And the flowers are gonna go right on the front of the drawers here, on the side that the punch out isn't, because the side that the punch out is on is gonna go inside the drawer. So we're gonna do the back side of the drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and take some Mod Podge. This is a gloss. I am so trying to get rid of this stuff because I dislike gloss Mod Podge a lot. So it's perfect for this project. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my paper flowers and just like so, I'm gonna place my flowers on the front of my drawer. Look at that. Look at how pretty that's gonna look. And I'm gonna do the drawers each differently with the flowers that I cut out. Rewind a second, I also picked up this red gingham scrapbooking paper because this is gonna go on the sides of the drawers. Remember how I told you the drawers weren't real even? That's okay, I did use some spackling. You can see how even it ended up coming out after I sanded it and painted it. I'm gonna place some Mod Podge on the side of the drawers and using this gingham scrapbooking paper, I thought that this would be a fun contrast to the red and to the flowers, really giving us that country chic feeling and really, again, so inspired by the Pioneer Woman. And I'm placing a piece on top as well. Whoa, get with the program, Kelly. I wasn't feeling the front of it. I felt like it was too plain. I felt like it was missing something. So I decided to, when all else fails, go in with that gingham paper, add a strip of scrapbooking paper to the center there and across the center. And I felt like once I did that, it was the perfect contrast to the drawers since the drawers had the flowers on them. Look at that. I'm happy now. The perfect amount of red, the perfect amount of gingham, and we've got our drawers here. On these drawers, they need handles. So I'm gonna use this cap assortment. It comes in an eight pack, which is the perfect amount for this DIY. You can get these at Walmart. I wanna say these are $1.99, which is a great buy. So if you can't get your hands on those, go to Dollar Tree and get the stars if you want and paint them. And I'm gonna place one cap on each drawer. Because it's an eight pack, you get two different sizes. You're getting four large and four small. And since our drawer set is, again, did you forget? Yes, it's double sided. We've got four drawers on the front, four drawers on the back. So this is perfect. I'll just put the large ones on one side and the small ones on the other. This is one of those instances where I thought I was gonna stick with the raw wood knobs. Once I got them on, I thought, oh no, this is not gonna work. These need to be white. So I decided just to go in with some white paint and paint them after they were glued on. Now, if you know you're gonna paint your knobs ahead of time, it's probably best not to do it once you have them on your DIY. I think it's probably easier, but I'm not gonna take the knobs off and risk ruining my floral, I guess, die cuts that I put on. So 
I've got a pretty steady hand. Doing it this way is a quick, easy fix. And look there, there is not much to this. This was an easy DIY. You can see that it is double-sided here. We've got four on one side, four on the other. This would make for a perfect jewelry box. This would make for a perfect anything box. I am loving the look of this. This is definitely one of those DIYs where you can get super creative and it's a versatile one. So if the country chic look isn't for you or the pioneer woman inspired theme isn't for you, get creative, make it your own and pick out a different paper, pick out a different color, go glam, go farmhouse. That's what I say. Who is today's KB Creations crafter of the day? It's going out to Heather Stewart, who is bringing to us her recreation of the season blocks that I made using mm -hmm, the same drawers that we used in today's DIY. Heather, thank you so much for sharing your creation with us. I absolutely love your spin and twist that you put on them and the knobs that are at the top. Genius, I love it. Perfect finishing touch. I love this piece. What I love about it is it was budget friendly, it was fun to make, and it serves as storage, which is amazing. This is one of those DIYs, like I always say, that is a very versatile piece. Just by switching up the color and maybe the paper, you can very easily make it to suit your decor style for the same budget-friendly cost. That is what DIYing is all about. It's take what you like, leave what you don't, and put your own twist on it. I hope you all enjoyed today's country chic Dollar Tree DIY using the wood drawers by Crafter Square at mm -hmm, the Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say and I know I sound like a broken record but each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more until next time everybody I hope you have a fantastic day happy crafting on a budget stay happy stay safe stay healthy but most of all stay positive please and bye for now everybody